Hello, heroes. Welcome to the One Shot Podcast Twitch stream. I am your host and game master, James D'Amato, and we have a special treat for you guys because we have the Big Trouble in Little China deck building game by Legendary this week. Uh, Legendary makes deck building games. You, you already saw one by Cryptozoic on the show. Legendary has a little bit of a crunchier approach to the deck builder genre, and they have a lot of cool licensed properties. So we're gonna jump right into that. But first, let's go around the horn and introduce who's gonna be playing with us this week. Uh, first up, Mika, welcome to the show. Hi, everybody. This is like your sort of second time on the show. <laughs> Yeah. Because we made it through an entire introduction next, last time. Yeah, I'm not going to be better at it this time, though. Nope. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Uh, so the thing that we know about you, Mika, is that you are a big fan of Monty Cook games. True. Uh, what is your favorite Monty Cook uh, property that you've played so far? Uh, Numenera, by far. Numenera is the one? Yeah, super weird, super fun, as weird as you want to be. I, I have a big fondness for The Strange. I love the concept for it. I haven't got a chance to play it. Uh, oh, no? But yeah, man, Numenera. Numenera is a great game, and we did a great actual play of it. Uh, if you want to learn what that game's like and want to see why Mika loves Monty Cook so much, mm -hmm. um, but l let's move on to our other new face and voice. Hi, Ansel. Uh, yes, uh, I'm Ansel Birch. I'm the producer for Starlight Radio Dreams, which is a audio comedy podcast out of Chicago here, uh, and we've actually got a show coming up next Friday uh, at Mrs. Murphy and Sons Irish Bistro. So that's super exciting. And uh, you can check us out at www.starlightradiodreams.com. And while we're doing the intros, guys, if you wouldn't mind shuffling your personal deck that I plopped down in front of you there. Um, and of course, it uh, brings us to a familiar face, hey. familiar voice. Hey. Uh, everybody in the One Shot stream will know. Mel, welcome back. Hey, thanks. Happy to be here. Happy to wear my, my trash gamer hat and Hell yeah. <laughs> hopefully own all of you. Ooh. Oh, fighting That's words. That's some gamer lingo right there. Or is this one of those cooperative games? Uh, you, I, you had a round earlier today where you, this is one of those cooperative games. We oh, are working well. together. Though, anyway. there can be a winner. Um, oh. We'll talk about that if, in if a nobody bit. else makes it or you side with Lopan? Um, no, <laughs> uh, actually, if we beat Lopan, we'll, we'll get to figure that out. But oh. we could lose before that even happens. Um, now, you had a round earlier today where you got four gold medals, right? Oh man, yeah, playing Overwatch. Ooh. <laughs> man, I attack Torbjorn on one of those moving the payload stages, which is ridiculous. Nobody but, attacked Torbjorns, yeah, but no, I did. Like the, nobody, nobody managed to knock the turret off of the payload, well, which is did, crazy. Well, he did like twice, but I kept going molten core and messing him up, so. Yeah, so if you had a frustrating game of Overwatch earlier today, it's probably Mel. Uh, but with that, and with our decks shuffled, um, if everybody wants to draw a hand of six cards. I am so sad, Channel, that we do not have our close-up cam for this week uh, because there are some symbols that are a part of this game that if you're not familiar with the Legendary series of uh, deck builders, it might throw you off. Like most deck builders, uh, there is, if we cut to the overhead, there's this row of hero cards. Uh, they have these uh, numbers right down here in the corner uh, with an amount that is essentially uh, how much currency in game it takes to buy these heroes and add them to your deck via your discard pile. Uh, the way you purchase them is with uh, cards that have this star symbol. These are hero points. Uh, this star symbol, if we can see that, I don't know if we can. Uh, yeah, hold it, you hold it a little higher probably. Yeah, yeah, so that, that star you. symbol right there, uh, it'll have a number in it. That's how many hero points you have. Uh, so these twos and threes will be easier to buy. These fours and fives will be a little bit harder to buy. Um, and they have varying abilities and levels of power that will help us accomplish the tasks that we need, in, need to do in order to win. Now... Uh, Death Star Dances asks if you could hold Oliver up to the overhead cam. Uh, he is 40 <laughs> pounds, so no! <laughs> um, uh, but maybe later we'll hold him up to the forward camera. Just I, for I also don't want him to get his hair all over my legendary playmat here. That would be no good. Um, 
But legendary games are a lot more combat focused than uh, the Cryptozoic line of deck builders and even the Dominion line of deck builders. Uh, they have two separate currencies that they use in order to accomplish their scenarios. The other currency, I'm going to hold it up to the overhead cam right now, is you see that little slash mark in the corner there with a number on top of it. That is the attack power of a given card. That slash mark uh, will indicate how much damage you can do to the villains, which will be popping up here, and uh, the mastermind, which is over here. Uh, since we're talking about villains and masterminds, I suppose it's a good time to introduce to you guys the way scenarios work in this game. I was really surprised reading the rule, uh, the rules to this. I've only played uh, legendary deck builders here and there. I haven't really fully dived into it. This is actually the first legendary deck builder that I own personally. Uh, this game will be radically different based on uh, the cards that you draw for it. The heroes each have a really different feel to it, and that's pretty common for deck builders. However, there are so many different villainous scenarios uh, that ev there's no standard version of this game. Every game is going to feel different based on the scheme that you draw and the mastermind that you draw. Uh, there are the same basic mechanics in each one uh, for how you win, and that is defeating the mastermind. Beneath each mastermind, there are four separate strategies that the mastermind can employ. Uh, and each time you defeat the mastermind, a new strategy will be put out there. Uh, however, things really change with the scheme. The scheme changes the way that you lose the game because it provides the given mastermind for your scenario uh, rules for how they can win. Uh, so this is a collaborative game. We're all playing against Lopan the Mastermind. However, the scheme that we're playing against is one and the same person, Jack. Uh, the setup uh, for this has 10 twists and two masterminds, David Lopan and Sorceress Lopan. So actually, I think because uh, of the way the movies work, it's more appropriate for us to start out with David Lopan. Uh, essentially, this villain's deck is full of twists. Every time a twist card comes up, we are going to be switching back and forth between Sorceress Lopan and David Lopan. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so the way uh, that that works, uh, we might hit uh, David Lopan for one or even two marks uh, on his card, However, if it switches back, we have a fresh new low pan to deal with. Uh, now, every time we deal damage to them, it stays, but if we're working really hard on somebody and it switches, uh, we might not be able to win in time. So it's gonna be a real challenge Sneaky. for us. We're gonna have to drive very hard after taking these guys out. <laughs> now, Legendary has a ton of rules uh, that are going to come up as the game develops, especially as we start pulling new villain cards. Uh, but I don't want us to get ahead of ourselves. So I think uh, first things first, uh, we should actually dive into play. I just want to read David Lopan real quick. Okay. So that's not going to come up right now. Handy. Perfect. All right. Um, I think... I would, unless there is an objection, I would like to go first uh, because I sort of know the rules and will be able to help you guys uh, go through this. Um, I'm going to pull up the order of play. Uh, people in the channel, just to inspire a conversation about what we're doing, uh, is anybody a fan of legendary deck builders out there that might be able to hold our hands and correct us when we're wrong? Oh, here? good. That would be handy. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah. great. And also, if you guys want to introduce who you are again, some people are asking in the chat room. So as oh. James looks up the rules. Yeah, as I, as I look up the order of operations here. Okay, sure. Hi, I'm Mika. Um, I am real bad at intros. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I guess, most excited about money cook games and talk about that all the time um, i'm going to plug their kickstarter that's going on right now uh, for invisible sun it is a surreal fantasy game it looks real 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 weird and um 
They've already reached their goal, so it's all stretch goals and gravy from here. You should get on it. Yeah, and if you've uh, backed a Monty Cook Kickstarter before, you know you can definitely depend on them uh, to deliver. Uh, I will point out that this is probably the first real luxury RPG product that, as a base product that exists. I believe the entry level for that Kickstarter is like $200. Uh, so definitely for the, the discerning fan who has a little bit more disposable income. Um, but yeah. Uh, excellent. Uh, my name is Ansel Birch. I'm the producer for Starlight Radio Dreams, uh, which is an audio comedy podcast out of Chicago here. Um, and we've got a show coming up next Friday at Mrs. Murphy and Sons Irish Bistro. You can find us on the interwebs at uh, www.starlightradiodreams.com. You guys know me. <laughs> but for those who don't, a thing? I mean, I guess I could plug stuff. Uh, I mean, you can see me such places as here almost every Thursday. Um, if you go back and watch some of the reviews of the Twitch stream, I got to host two of them a few weeks ago, so check those out. We played uh, the commodity trading card game Pit. Doesn't sound exciting, but it was. Oh my goodness, so it much shouting. Dumb. There was a lot of shouting, a lot of bells, and a lot of accents. We got really silly with it. <laughs> Uh, and oh, what was the second one? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mastermind. The, right? Mastermind. The second one I hosted was Mastermind, and we got to pretend to be mad scientists and take over the world. So, lots of fun. Check it out. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm, I, yeah. I'm going to be kind of distracted the whole time because Oliver's like underneath me, and one uh, is just that's what's happening. Yeah, don't oh. tease the screen. <laughs> 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 I always want to see. I just want to explain what's happening with my arm because I can see that being Yeah, if we're reaching weird. under the table, it's, it's, the, dog. <laughs> it's the dog. It's the dog. Uh, but in lieu of the Petco Corgi Cam, I'm going to tweet pictures of him periodically with the hashtag Petco Corgi Cam. <laughs> yeah, so be sure to have your, uh, your uh, Twitter ready to interact with that. Who are you on Twitter? Oh, I am at Melarella. That's M-E-L-E-R-E-L-L-A. Okay. Oh, and we played Nefarious, not Mastermind. Oh, shoot, that's Yeah, right. that's right. Mastermind is that peg-based game. I wondered. I was like, uh, man, how did you have that much fun with Mastermind? No. no. I forgot. I knew it was something related to the genius I don't know. All right. Well. I lost horribly. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so the first thing that happens on anyone's turn is we flip over a card from the villain deck. Ooh. Uh, the villain that I pulled was a Tomfa Guard. Uh, he's got an ambush Tomfa Guard, and any villain on the rooftops each capture a bystander. Uh, so there is no, uh, nobody has reached the rooftops yet, so we don't have to worry about that. However, our Tomfa Guard does have this bystander, so that gets slid under this card. Essentially, uh, every round we're going to be pulling one of these villains. They will be slowly moving out uh, towards the bridge here. As soon as they get into these last two quadrants, they're in Chinatown. That will have special effects on the game. If this fellow here manages to escape with a bystander, things can go very bad for us. Uh, so, we're going to try and avoid that. I have drawn my first hand. Everybody's hand will have six cards in it. You will play all six of those cards in a given round. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so no need to worry about like retaining things. Uh, right now, we just have Chang Sing warriors uh, Chang and Chang Sing strategists uh, that help us buy new heroes and attack villains. Um, okay. They also have a jerk. Oh yeah, that um, the everybody in their deck also has two mundane heroes, or two mediocre, mediocre heroes. heroes. Mm. Um, those mediocre heroes have some attack power uh, and abilities, but not as much as the ones that we will buy from the lineup here. With all that said, I have one, two, three, four, five points to work with. So it looks like I can start buying some of those flashier cards right away. Let's see here. Oh, and because the channel voted for it, uh, we are working with Jack Burton. We are working with Gracie Law. We are working with Wang Chi. Um, let's see, oh my goodness. I am trying to remember the name of the last one that we pulled. 
Um, but the one that the channel voted for was the Pork Chop Express. So we were playing with the Pork Chop Express in the game tonight because the channel voted for it uh, on Twitter. For, I guess, future games where we have options like that, I'll be putting up polls. So be sure to follow us on Twitter to get in on that. Um, and let's see, if there are no villains in Chinatown or the bridge at the end of your turn, rescue two bystanders. That's pretty useful. Oh, that is sweet. Mm -hmm. um, so those are, yeah, we have the open road pork chop express card is our five. Let's see, draw a card to rescue a bystander. Hmm. That's pretty useful. So I am going to spend it on the open road. I am going to try and focus on rescuing bystanders with my deck. Okay. Uh, so that was my turn. I didn't generate it. I had technically two attack power, um, but that is really not enough to rescue any bystanders or defeat this four power villain, especially not enough to attack David Lopan. So uh, going in a clockwise order, it is now Mel's turn. Cool. Uh, okay, so I only have two attack power too, right? Uh, it's yes. Plus one if you have no victory pile. Yeah, and you I have no victory pile. Is, so I guess so I don't victory have pile one, is yeah. yeah defeating villains and stuff. And cool. So the stars are the the hero stars. points. Yeah. So I've got five as well. So. Oh yeah, and it refills immediately in Legend of ah. Heroes. Pull up the channel too. So Ooh. KO a card. So what does it mean when you KO a card? When you KO a card, uh, there is a special KO space uh, somewhere on this thing for when we discard from our hands uh, permanently, oh. we put them in the KO space. Ah. Mm -hmm. What kind of so cards would we want to KO gone. out of our hands? Uh, well, most of these early, like beginning oh, like cards that we have, are just not as useful the as the ones cards. that we're gonna buy. Yeah. So anything that's a starter is probably territory for KO. Oh man, somebody tweeted at us uh, that they just put Pocket Imperium on their wish list. Man, we didn't even get to play that. I'm glad that you liked it. Uh, <laughs> it was fun for the hot second. Yeah, that one second where we're thinking, oh, I don't know how so to play this at all. Pork Chop Express <laughs> is pretty helpful, what? so I think I'll grab. There's another Pork Chop, chop Express. Chop Express, great. Yeah. Cool. Grab that. So that just that whole hand goes in the discard. Yep, and this refreshes. And I get. Oh man, yeah, baby. We we just pulled a Wang Chi, the five point Wang Chi, Ooh. who has all sorts of crazy abilities. Now, are you keeping the Pork Chop Express, or is it going away? So, so it goes into your discard pile. Um, personal discard pile. As right. soon as you can't draw any more cards, you reshuffle your discard pile into your hand. Got so it. So these, you're adding this into your personal deck. Yeah. Oh, oh man, we should have we forgot to do this oh. um, during oh. Mel's turn. Oh. Uh, okay, so we have a bystander that popped up. Oh. Um, and there's no one for this bystander to get kidnapped by yet, uh, so the bystander will be occupying that space until they get kidnapped. Lucky bystander. Great. All right. Uh, all right. At the um, beginning of your turn, we yep. draw another one. And oh, look, they're kidnapped by the smokestaff guard. To fight the smokestaff smoke staff guard, you must also play two non-gray heroes with the same hero name, uh, or one non-gray hero with a mediocre hero with the same hero name. So you need two people to team up to take down the smokestaff guard, and man, is that going to be difficult, as that is a five. Oof. And they also happen to have a bystander. Well, yay. Not a, not a good <laughs> first couple we're, we're rounds We're off to a rough us. start, yeah. for sure. Um, all right, well, I also have uh, five points uh, of hero points. And uh, let's see, what was this guy's thing? Oh, I can rescue a bystander and do two damage and get two buying points. Yeah. Can you interpret that symbol so right there? So that symbol, uh, if 
He's noticed uh, that on the cards there appear to be a bunch of symbols that are not super clear. And God, I, without the close-up cam, I don't you know. That we're oh yeah, you are not going to see those for sure. Yeah, there's they no are, way. They are they're tiny even small. in so, person. So there's a symbol that looks like a person's head with three lines. There's a symbol <laughs> that looks like two flippy arrows. And there's like sort of a blue targeting reticle. Uh, each of the cards are, or some of the cards are marked with those symbols. So ah. if you have another card that has one of the symbols down here, you'll be able to activate that ability. Gotcha. Oh, cool. That's neat. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and spend my points on two cards mm. and get the uh, nosy but nice. Gracie Law, mm. and the uh, Look the Storm in the Eye Pork Chop Express card. Hell yeah. Cool. Which will allow me to KO things later on. Uh, and I only have one attack this turn, so that's not really going to help me with anything. No. And I'm done. All right. So we need to refresh you are these. Up. Yeah. So let's do the. And um, does, uh, does uh, yes, need those to be are like thing? hero classes in the Marvel version. Uh, th it's the same hero classes. Do we need to move? We'll yes, you do. You got to scooch them down. They have almost reached Chinatown. So oh, bad sign. You flip another. Do you pull a bystander or just? No, no only the, if a it's bystander only just showed up that time. Yeah, but uh, we do have to read his abilities. Fight. If you fight the, so this is a ceremonial warrior, a henchman villain. Mm -hmm. If you fight this henchman in Chinatown, it's the only card you can defeat this turn. When this is the only card you defeat on your turn, you can KO a hero. Oh. So he hasn't reached Chinatown again. Chinatown is here. Um, we've almost got people in Chinatown that we have to worry about, uh, but right now, not not so much. And he's a three, so he should be fairly easy to defeat. Once we, yeah. So speaking of a three. You've got three attack power. Bam. Kick his ass. Okay, so I just do that and yep. just take him. So he and just, he goes he in dies. your victory pile. Yes, Woo. victory. And then I've got three star point things to buy things with. Um, and You've got some choices. Yeah, I'm gonna pick these up and look at them because they're super yeah. far away. I will say the there is a lot of text with not a lot of uh, contrast in some of these. Yes. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard to read. It What's is definitely a pick it up and bring it to you sort of game. It, it, this is the HQ right here. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, the Hauv pointed out that China is in the heart. Um, and I think that's really important for everybody to remember. <laughs> so even though the villains have not reached Chinatown yet, uh, they've reached our hearts, which <laughs> is almost more dangerous. Quite worrisome, really. Um, I'm going to take this one. Um should I read it? Yeah. Okay. So which one are which one are you taking? Um, I'm taking. You gotta help me. And it's the player to your left chooses a zero cost hero from their hand and puts it in your hand. That's awesome. That's going to be really useful. Uh, to I, I guess I will be helping you out as the game goes on. Um, that's perfect. So now it rolls around to my turn. We draw another villain. This is Master Cleaver. Um, ambush. The current player takes a wound if there is at least one henchman in the city. There is, there's definitely a henchman that has reached the city, not one that has reached Chinatown. But I still have to take this wound, so I am now wounded, which sucks for me. Um, and fight. Uh, put the top bystander of the bystander deck on top of the villain deck. So we are definitely going to have a bystander come up next round. Well, that's good, right? Mm, no, bystanders are bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> because it makes it makes it more dangerous when these guys. Oh, okay. Start so we advancing. can't just like straight up rescue that guy. Nope. Cool. All right. Yeah, we I was like, oh, I could just God sweep damn. in. We have to kill. Well, we have. I mean, if you have the cards to do it, you, if you can. You got the pork chop. Yeah, but yeah, nobody's gonna have the pork chop until another yeah. round. Yep, yep, so. Yep. Okay. Up a creek. Oh boy, I have three attack cards, and of course, nobody is a three right now that's on the board. So we're in a. We need to fill this. Yes, we do. Uh, we're in a little bit of hot water there. Um, I do have three hero points that I can spend. 
Ooh. Okay. I am going to take Sleeveless Jack Burton. Um, and that is the only thing that I can afford on my turn. So I shuffle the deck and the game keeps moving. All right, hon, you're up. Oh, boy. Do we need to move the. Oh, the yeah, we want to move the. Yeah, we do. The well, guys. no, we don't need to move them up yet because he hasn't displaced anybody. Right, but we got to put a new so one in. Oh, yeah, we do on your turn. Yeah, that's right. Well, no, we, we're not moving them up because we know this happens to be a bystander. Oh, right. That Jeez. gets slipped under here, making him all the more dangerous to us. Hot dog. We have three attack power and three... Three buy power. Bye. So, again, nobody is worth three, so we're in a little bit of trouble here. Let's see. Uh, we did randomly draw this scenario. Uh, this is supposedly one of the tougher scenarios oh, to good. deal with. Um, so on our first time playing this game, we are, we're going on hard mode. Uh, I'm gonna grab this Pork Chop Express card, draw a card, you may move a villain to an empty space in the city. Ooh, okay. All right. Hey, James, is this game compatible with other yes. legendary Yes. Um, just like all legendary deck building games, this game would be compatible. So if you wanted Spider-Man to jump into your Big Trouble in the Little China scenario, you, were, you would absolutely be entitled to do that. All the hero class symbols are compatible. So it, it's going to work with all other legendary games. All right. Um, um, Got to flip yeah. that villain card. Right, yep. And right, the line got? does move down, oh, and they baby. have reached Chinatown no. for all abilities that uh, that matters for. Okay. And three of them have bystanders. Okay, so this is a Tommy Gun Gangster. Fight. Choose one. Uh, either KO a card that provides attack power from your hand or discard a card... Uh, uh, from your hand or discard pile, or KO all heroes that cost three or less in the HQ. Oh boy. So, do you, I, the real question is, do you have enough attack power to take down one of these four costs? Sadly, people? I do not. Like, like the last two hands, I have an unhelpful amount of attack. I have three and three buying. Uh, which means that all I can do is buy this Pork Chop Express card. So it's probably better for you to, instead of KOing that, discard one of the attack cards. Or KO yes, one of the I attack Yes, I think that cards. is absolutely what I will do. All right. Um, that attack card has been KO'd, oh. which means it is permanently removed from his hand. Oh, no. And I will reshuffle and move on. All right. So this all needs to move down again, yeah? Uh, well, oh, see what, what, get. what did we get. Maybe a bystander. Nope. Oh boy, okay. We are dangerously close to them escaping with a bystander. So if we defeat somebody, it should be this round. Yeah, Which I'll give him my all, guys. <laughs> real lucky that it's a four. Okay. And this is another one of those uh, ceremonial warriors. If you fight this henchman in Chinatown, uh, he's he's tougher to defeat, um, and he, or he's the only one you can defeat. Luckily, he's a three cost, so you might be able to take out your, no? Oh no! Uh, oh, do, you have no. The, do you have the one that allows uh, you to take a zero cost card from me? No! Okay. Are we in trouble? We are in trouble. If this is not a bystander, uh, then we are definitely going to have one of the villains escape with a bystander. Yeah, and, and the negative words. repercussion of that is uh, that will aside from will making us feel real shitty. We will address that uh, at the end of her turn. But got first, uh, let's have you buy the cards that you want. Okay. Um, so I've got these three, and then these ones have the plus one or more uh, plus one star if one or more villains have a bystander captured. Yeah. Well, that definitely so, is true. You got that. So um, five plus two. Seven? Yes. Yeah. Seven. Okay. Well, that can be usefully used. <laughs> um, so there's, that's pretty handy. This is 
rescue a bystander. Oh, um, I can't do it now. <laughs> this one is draw a card and rescue a bystander. If there are four or more villains in the city or there is a Mao Yin card in the HQ, gain plus one attack and draw a card. I mean, any one of these three would be helpful. Yeah, I'm thinking this one. Because it seems like we're going to have a lot of villains hanging out in the place. It seems we will. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that seems like it's so. happening, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's convenient. Is that the same guy? You get plus two for each. Class of hero you play this turn. Ooh. All right. That's a good card we need right yeah. there. Yeah. But yeah, he costs eight. Expensive. Yeah, that is one of the high power cards that's currently in the hero deck. I am trying to find the bystander rules, um, and they are currently evading me. Nothing bad happens. Everybody gets to go home and eat. Yeah, that. Yeah, this is when it actually spins off into like a rom com, mm-hmm. yeah. where like the bystander and the villain fall in love. It's I'd actually like gonna be great. Became ghost. Ooh. <laughs> she dies, but she gets to help make pottery. Yeah. If only I had time, I'd make pottery. Well, hey. Silver lining. Okay. I guess. I guess we can just keep. Go. Well, no. Did no. we? Let's did, do did you get a bad guy? <laughs> so it's my it's my turn. Um, so there I'm gonna flip this guy. over and oh boy, a scheme twist. Oh, uh, that's convenient. That is convenient. So hopefully I will have a little bit more time to figure out uh, what to do with those bystanders. So David so goes over here. David Lopan leaves and Sorceress Lopan comes in. Uh, He's a little bit harder to hit than David Lopan, uh, so that could that could be tough for us as we are having a very difficult time defeating villains. Um, on my turn, I have let's see, so far three hero points, two attack points. So I've got four hero points to spend to recruit people. Oh, and this is going very poor. This is going very very poor. Draw a card and rescue a bystander. Do they have yeah. to be alone? Or can you rescue one from one of those? So guys? no, we can rescue one from one of those guys. Gracie Law, that's basically her her bread and butter is doing that. So that is my turn there. Somebody, I believe, in the uh, stream might have explained that rule. Pat, you want to share that with me real quick? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was working on board. Um, um, so this gets uh, discarded. And the escaping villain discards a hero value less than six from HQ. So okay. Less, sorry, not less than six. So, yes, uh, we will lose one of our... Anything less than six can get KO'd here. And I did remember that if they escape with a bystander, we also have to discard a card from our hand. Ooh. So make sure that like you... until the next... Discard yeah. or KO? Discard. Discard. Okay. Um, so remember to have your hand ready. Uh, okay. So is it my turn? It is your turn. All right. I've got three attack power, so I'm going to oh, take out... Hold on. I, didn't you already pull that? Yeah, that was on my turn, but the, the villain stack goes before. first. Yeah. Yep. And so they do manage to escape. And that, um, okay. So this guy escaped with the bystander. I'm somewhat confused because you pulled that towards the end of your turn. Did you mean to pull that? It, it always should happen at the beginning, okay. but hey, I'm grappling with a lot right now. So <laughs> we're going to cut me some slack. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, that is done. Uh, the new thing that we have to deal with is the bug monster, Ambush. The current player reveals their hand and KOs a hero that has an attack power printed on it. 
If you KO a zero cost hero, shuffle the bug monster back into the villain deck and draw another card from the villain deck. Jeez Dang. butts. Now, we did lose a bystander as well, so we all lose a card for that yes, as well, right? Yes, we, we all lose a card for that. So, I am going to lose my wound card. I am also going to okay. do that. So, oh, okay. now is it my turn? Yes, it yep. is all right. your turn. I've got three your... attack power, so I'm going to take out this ceremonial warrior. Good, good work. And I put it in my victory pile. Yes, mm -hmm. you do. And because I... Not even because I discarded. I don't have enough to buy any cards, so I will discard my hand. Good on you. Um, I once again uh, have an unhelpful hand with... Well, first, before oh, yep, we talk yep, about yep. hands, we've got to remember, oh, it's another ceremonial warrior, uh, so that should be an easy defeat. Yeah. Uh, if I had any uh, attack power whatsoever... Oh my god. Instead, I have five hero points. Uh, <laughs> yay! Uh, so I'm also going to take a Gracie Law, because that seems like that's going to come in handy. Uh, yeah. Draw a card and rescue a bystander. That seems great. Cool. Uh, and I'm good. All right, great. So, um, let's refill this and draw this. Um, so, another... Okay, we've got another escape, another bystander. So, we're KOing, uh... One of these cards uh -oh. um, that is less than five, uh, so we can either do one step ahead or you gotta help me. God, you gotta help me seems like it would be really useful for us, but this also helps us rescue bystanders, so I feel like we need that. Um, we, we have at the moment a dearth of bystanders. Uh, oh yeah, we actually only have, have up. one bystander yeah. Yeah, left. Okay, so we, we let a lot of probably them let's we're we're gonna throw out one step ahead. Um, that got KO'd. This refreshes. Um, and so they oh got away. Oh boy! Yeah, yeah. So we, we we do have to discard a card from our hands. Mm -hmm. um, so that's an easy pick because I only had one of those. Um, so I have five. I'm just going to pick up um, the colors that never run, weren't you? And, okay. And uh, be done with all that. That's the one that interacts with all sorts of different hero symbols. Mm -hmm. And we did not have enough strength to defeat that guy. Okay. Oh, great. So, <laughs> pulling oh. another villain card. Okay. What lurks in the lifeblood? Escape. Each player must shuffle a non-henchman -hench villain from their victory pile back into the villain deck. Oh, so, a non-henchman villain. But luckily, we we've only them. defeated <laughs> henchmen. Yeah. Uh, so, that is not going to happen. Um, however, the line still advances. And... Uh. We have to KO, KO another one, and guess what? The only one that we can KO is that you gotta help me that we worked to protect. Dang. Great. Great, guys. Um, Why did we pick this scenario for the first time we played? Actually, Random. we would be doing this bad no matter what, so. <laughs> <laughs> the scenario has not hurt us terrible. yet. Yeah, the scenario hasn't really hurt us. The thing that's hurting us is we don't have a lot of attack power. Mm. Um, yeah. So not having attack power is brutalizing us in many, many horrible ways. Um, but we also have to discard another card from our hands. I'm down to four now. That's this exciting. Is, I'm down to three. This is Whose turn is it? I can do. Oh, it's, it's yep. your turn. Yep. Did, so Wait, did I go? I didn't go. I don't think it's my turn. I actually did anything. Yeah. No, didn't you just, just move the, the line. Oh, you advanced the line and we and despaired. So I bought I bought this. <laughs> there you go. Fuck that. Good work. I'm going to remember to do my stupid we turn. Don't have, we don't have any bystanders so, right now. Nope. Right? Nope. No bystanders. No. Wouldn't that one have had to go away then? So then, yes, Sleeveless Jack oh. goes away instead. Oh, brother. Wait, was there a fourth? Bystander? Uh, Where have you gone through four bystanders? We are up to three bystanders. Why? Does something extra awful happen when we have four? 
Uh, there was just a question of whether or not yeah. there was a oh, fourth right. bystander. Yeah. Wasn't sure if someone was aware of the fourth bystander and you all die rule. <laughs> You're just bad heroes. <laughs> <laughs> we are very bad heroes. The rules do specify that. <laughs> We're mediocre heroes. Let's stay on, on brand. Yeah, on theme here. Okay, so I can't buy anything. Um... I have Finally. garbage. I I don't think I can do anything at all except draw a card. And there's no bystanders to rescue. But hey, no, this is three. This is three attack power. So draw a card. Okay. Okay. So, so you have now have four, four attack power. There are things with three so and things with four. So what would wipe the four with one of these idiots? <laughs> Choose one, either KO a card that provides damage from your hand or discard pile, or KO all heroes that cost three or less in the HQ. So can I kill him and say I'm getting rid of something from HQ, but there's no options to kill in HQ? Or Yeah, exactly. So I'll kill Those him. effects when they're killed or when they're drawn? I believe when they're drawn. When you, when you fight them. When you fight them, so yeah. So it says fight. Choose one. Either KO a card that provides damage from your hand or discard pile, or KO all heroes that cost three or less in the HQ. Hmm. So I would choose HQ because none of them qualify. That works. Is that a thing I can do? Yeah. Because I'm going to do that. Yeah, definitely do that. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know of any reason not to. So I will... Get rid of this nerd. Put him in my victory pile. Woo All right. And yep. Cool. Okay. Boop. All right. Uh, all right. So let's get a new villain. And what do we pull? It is Wing Kong Thugs. Uh, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a zero cost card, uh, that provides uh, hero points, KO it. It is, so I KO. I thought we just established the things that happen on the card. Oh, yeah, that's right, them. this is a fight. This is a fight, not an ambush, so Yay. goodness. I was like, we, we can't all do that. We're not all doing that, I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> you refuse to do that. No, perfect. Uh, great, okay, cool. Uh, let's see, I have uh, four fight this time. Um, and I also have a uh, Pork Chop Express uh, draw a card. You may move a villain to an empty space in the city. How do I activate that? So you just, you, you just do I it. I just do it. Yay, all right. Uh, well, then I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw a card. Well, I would recommend doing that after you have killed one of the people so that there is an empty space in the city to move someone to. Got it. Cool. Oh, I see. Yes. That makes sense. Uh, all right, so I have four attack power, so I'm going to attack one of the fours. Uh, let's see, what is the bad stuff with this guy? Uh, bug monster. Current player reveals their hand and KO a hero that is printed, uh, that has a printed uh, slash. If a, you KO a zero cost hero, shuffle the bug monster that's, back that's, into the villain. That's his ambush power, so we already did Got that. Got it, okay, so we oh, already so did we that. So there, oh, there's so no fight nothing, power. no Kill bad it? stuff. Yeah. No bad Great. Stuff. Uh, then I kill him. Yay, victory Perfect. pile for that guy. Uh, those go over there, and then now we've got an empty spot. I wouldn't recommend moving anyone there. Yeah, <laughs> that actually does not suit my uh, desires anyway. So draw that card, uh, though. But I'm going to draw a card, regardless. What'd you get? Uh, I got a Chang Sing Strategist. So you've got, a, how, how much a hero one. points are you working with? Uh, one. Yep. One. Oh. Nothing, nothing, nothing helpful. All right. Nothing you can buy. But, but hey, it you cycles did, out, so you that's did handy. Kill that, uh, you did kill that one guy, so. Yay! All right. We're not Ooh. in immediate danger. Draw that villain card. Let's see if I can change that. It's another ceremonial warrior. Oh, we have good history with them. Yeah, things are going nice. All right. Um, so and this ceremonial warrior is in Chinatown, so if you fight this one, it's the only one you can fight on this turn. I doubt anybody I doubt. has nine attack power right now. Yeah, no. Um, I'm just trying to be optimistic, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. So, never know. So I have five attack power, but I also have this. Um, the player to your left chooses a zero-cost hero card mm -hmm. from their hand and puts it in your hand. 
Okay, um, so if you need more attack power or uh, buying power, let me know. Um, so if one of them escapes and they don't have a bystander, does bad stuff happen? Yeah, we still KO uh, something below five. However, uh, looks like we don't have anything. So whatever. Because it's all super expensive. So whatever you want to do is, is kosher. Okay, um, so I could, if you have um, one more attack power, I could go after that six point guy. Heck yeah. Cool. I wonder what bad stuff's about to happen to me. Well, yeah, what's his fight? Um, put the top bystander of the uh, bystander deck on top of the villain deck. Oh, all right. Didn't we do that once already for we this We did, guy? we did. The, oh, there was, was an ambush, guy. yeah. Yeah, I remember doing this same fight thing, but I don't remember fighting this guy. But maybe a lot of Maybe that was that. back before I did. Yeah, that might, that might be one of the guys that got away. Yeah. Okay. So... Oh, yeah, it is indeed one of the guys yep. that got away. <laughs> oh, Six nice. or less, not below five. Six or less? Oh, brother. Okay. Yeah. So mm. we do, we did have things, we do have threats that uh -oh. uh, could happen, but we're fine. We're fine, because you fought that guy. So okay. we're good. Okay. okay. Um, so that, and then... Can you buy anything? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, There's no, always the fight. three cost Uncle Chu that oh. will add two hero points. Oh. That's interesting to know. Um, no, I can't do anything. I don't have do to. we just have an unlimited, unlimited supply it's of Uncle Chews? It's not unlimited, but we do have quite a few Uncle Chews. All right. He's a handy guy. Okay. So, I have, looks like, two buying power. Draw a card and rescue a bystander. So, oh yeah, that's right. For anything else. Oh, hey, look. A bystander. <laughs> oh, so he doesn't need to move. So he doesn't need to move. Um, so, awesome. I now will use this. I'm going to draw a card. Excellent. I get another hero point. I can afford an Uncle Chew. And I am going to rescue this bystander here. And that actually just goes in my victory pile. All right, guys, we finally rescued a bystander. Yay! <laughs> After a hard night of heroing. Bound to happen. Um, I do have four attack power. I am going to kill... Let's see. I got something that can move that guy, so if you want to... Okay, yeah, I will kill what lies in the lifeblood. Um, that adds some victory points for me. And I've got the three, so I will purchase an Uncle Chu. Oh, what is Uncle Chu? You can KO. Oh, a wound. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Uncle Chu helps you heal. Okay. Um, so, oh. that was my turn, and hey, that wasn't too bad. We finally had a productive turn. <laughs> that could have gone. It feels like the game started now. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Saving bystanders, killing bad guys. It's kind of like the movie where things are really bad and confusing at first, and then oh, okay. Then all right, they're maybe. still confusing, but it's fun. <laughs> maybe maybe Jack's got it. So it's all in the reflexes. I've got three hero points, two attack, and I've also got the pork chop express rollum where I can draw a card and move a villain to an empty space in the city. Did we put a new one out? Oh no! Let's draw that. Let's see what we got. Hey, oh brother! <laughs> All right, we've got battle armor lightning. Oh, no. um, he's got an ambush power. If the current player has two or more cards in their victory pile, they must discard a hero that provides oh. hero powers. So, oh. Like this. So yeah, any any one of those. Discard. KO or discard. Discard. Okay. Um, oh, and if we let him escape, it's the same, but for all players. So, oh. and he's a seven. Uh, great. Good this times. game is brutal. <laughs> uh, does that say any players? Because I have two also. Uh, no, it's a, it will be any player when he escapes. Okay. Because so, we're not going to defeat him before he escapes. I feel like we're about to hey, get a clarification. James, did you put the bystander in your victory pile? I did because I rescued them. Incorrect. He did. Is he not supposed to do that? Yeah, I, 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 figure, <laughs> I figure because bystanders have victory points printed on them that, uh, yes, they do. They've got a victory point printed right there. That's uh, a victory point? That is a victory point. That explains what that is. Were the, okay. No, stars are hero points. Mm -hmm. 
There are a lot of points uh, in this game. So many points. What a pain. All right. Uh, yes, that's worth one victory pile. Okay. Right, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So we did it right. Yay. <laughs> okay. Question. What's up? So like. These two are Chinatown? Yes. And the rest is not. The rest yeah. is not. This it's got that nice neon line there. It's like, there's two neon lines. This is, it's a very confusing game map to me. Like, this doesn't naturally. There's a lot going like, on. Yeah. It's got this big bar across the, st oh, across man. the top that, that says Chinatown. Oh, man, that might be Chinatown. I, I, thought it was, I thought it was the last two spaces. I thought it was the bridge in the streets. Can Which, you? I mean, would make sense because we've got the two neon lines for the start. And then we've got another neon line. Well, but this neon line to. like continues over to here. So why is this neon line here if this isn't Chinatown? So, right, so but this is Chinatown, crazy. right? These two are Chinatown. Those two are definitely Chinatown. These yeah. two are the city. All then. Yeah. Oh, so there's. But like, then city spans that as what? Well. It's not. I don't think sewers are part of this. All right. Anywho, so, so we we advanced the line for my turn. We advanced the line. Uh, yes, regardless. <laughs> Regardless of where Chinatown is. I can't kill anything, which is extremely disappointing, but I can move, I guess I'll just move him back one. Good. And draw a card and see what happens. Ugh. Hey, you can afford an Uncle Chew. No, I Yeah, you oh, have yeah, three. three. All right, so, no, he, this yes. is only plus one if you have no that's victory That's plus one pile. attack if you have no victory oh, pile. Three. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll get an Uncle Chew. Hey, we Whatever. are slouching towards competence now. <laughs> Just too many numbers. Oh, oh boy. Right. Right. Okay. Rough round. Hey, I, I, did, I haven't lost any cards this round. That's yeah, that's a true. Significant we, improvement. We, shh, don't talk haven't about just it. like let them pick up bystanders and just walk away. <laughs> no, don't. No. Hey. 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 I, What's that guy doing over there? I'm just gonna buy some stuff. You you do what you're doing. Yeah. What right. we've done has been very different from Big Trouble, where they actually try and stop people from being kidnapped. We wanted to, but we're verbally we're... harassing them. That's what. Hey! We're... Ah. Don't do that. Where's the fire? Why are you running? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, first things first. We gotta pull yep. a villain, and it's a scheme twist. Oh, hey. Uh, so these That's two. That's kind switch. of better in a. Moderate sort of way. Yeah, because it'll be easier to hit him. Um, twist. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not hitting that. <laughs> oh, draw another card from the villain deck. Jesus. Okay. Dang. Bad stuff. All right. These are the henchmen. They only have a fight ability, so it only matters if you're going to fight them. Cool. But there are a lot of three-cost villains out there right now. Yeah, there are. There are indeed. Uh, which would be great if I could muster three fight. Are we serious? Uh, oh boy! I have I have four uh, hero points, mm -hmm. and I have a grand total of two fight points right now. Uh, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, no, no, nothing, nothing uh, useful. Nothing cool. Uh, yeah, if you discard a card, I can KO a card from my I'm hand. To your but... right, to your left. Or, yeah. Sorry, yes. Yeah. As the channel points out, deck builders are mostly about shopping. That is very correct. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so I have nothing useful I can do in the fighting department. Um, what can you get from me? From your left? Uh, oh, if I wanted to KO a card from my hand, I would ask you to discard, but I don't, so I'm not gonna. Okay. Uh, it so yeah, be bad so for me, if you did, something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Uh, so I got four hero points, which is enough for uh, an Uncle Chew, and that's my turn. Let's see. <laughs> Draw a card. It. You can move a villain to an empty space in the city if there were one, which there would be right. if we knew what we were doing. So, uh, well, first let's hope. Uh, I was really hoping for a bystander that we had time to save, but we don't have that. Nope, so, nope. bye right. guys. So this guy gets away. And then we have to discard one that is six or higher. Yeah, yeah. Or, yes. Uh, so, so it's like the exact opposite of what we were doing. <laughs> <sighs> Which one do we want to lose? Do we want to lose smooth move? Well, I feel like there aren't that many bystanders now, so we can. Well, it was six or higher. Is that, am I wrong? 
No, not six or higher. Six, any lower, lower. Six okay. and lower, okay. So yeah, let's discard this one. That's not, oh, that's not the discard. There we go. And it refreshes and hey, oh boy, wow. So many expensive cards are coming up. Yep. This, the deck is, is not with us today. <laughs> no. Not at all. And this guy and... Why would he advance? He, he just flipped he, in, right? No. no. Well, who's the one happened. who just flipped in? Am I holding it? I'm probably yeah. holding it. I'm definitely holding go. it. It's the same card. <laughs> it's a very, very similar bad Can guy. you defeat one of them? Oh, yeah. I can defeat the worst guy. Hey! Oh, boy. Yeah. Score. I can't buy anything. What's but... his fight? Wait, what's better? Oh, yeah. Getting rid of him or two of the smaller guys? I feel, I feel like, like we so rarely have seven, and if yeah. he escapes, right, it's yeah. very bad for us. Okay. Yeah. Um, We're so much nothing more bad happens three. to me for <laughs> fighting him either, because he had an ambush and an escape, not a fight. I have a question. What's up? So if we use some cards for their attack power, mm -hmm. uh, can we also use their value? Yes. To buy? Okay. I mean, but but their value is the star value. Oh, that's right. Okay. That was the cost. Okay. All right. One On my turn, days. a master strike. This is not good, guys. This is not oh. good. Master Strike, each player reveals their hand. The player or players with the highest cost card must discard two cards. No, 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 no. Well, not a big deal. I've got a five cost. I've got a three. I have a three. Uh, so it's four. Me. Yep. So, but, so it's just buying points, and honestly, all I would have been able to afford is a Master Chew, or Uncle Chew, whatever. So, that's fine. Okay. I still have five attack. Excellent. Uh, and, let's see. Uh, during my turn, I have. Did we advance the line? No, we don't advance the line because we drew a master strike. Oh, right. Um, so. Making sure. I've got three purchasing power. I can only purchase an Uncle Chew, which I am definitely going to do. Hopefully, getting some more money in this. Deck that moves slow as molasses. Um, okay. Uh, do you have a zero cost hero that you would like to give up to me? Uh, like this guy? No. Um, I mean... So yeah. The player oh, to your like left chooses a zero cost hero from their hand and puts it in my hand. Uh, so to attack? Or... So uh, if you give me... Yeah, give me one of the attack ones. Yeah, all right. Um, Why... So that I can attack with it? But you... I have four... Uh, so I had... It's going to be five, though. It doesn't five, make yeah, you it able make to do two. I, so, but she might we don't have a choice. Oh, no? There's there's no there's nothing that says may. It okay. says the player to your left chooses a card and puts it in Well, can hand. she give you a hero point instead? Since no. this is not doing her any good. I mean, yeah. yeah that, that would Actually, she would absolutely yeah. be able to do that. It's not doing me any good either, but hey. And I am going to defeat, I think, one of these guys. Reveal the top card of your deck. It is a zero cost card that provides hero powers. KO it. It is not. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, he goes in the victory pile, and my turn is over. We draw from the villains again. Hey, it is bus tourists. They are a bystander. If you rescue this bystander from Chinatown, rescue another two bystanders. Okay. Score. Man, I wish I had the card to move villains right now. Because I could have, I could rescue those bystanders. If there are no villains in Chinatown or the bridge, by at the end of your turn, rescue two bystanders. Oh, okay. So the bridge is not in Chinatown, which means these two are Chinatown. What? Right? No. Yes. The rooftop in the streets. Oh, and I guess which it makes sense because they're under sense. the arch. Okay. All right. I'll buy it. Which is why there are lines everywhere except where the arch is. Because we got a neon so the line, a neon the line here, and a neon line here, two over there. Yep. This is not yep. Clear. This is not clear at all. Um, the only reason to make that distinction, though, is if the bridge is not also Chinatown. Um, it kind of makes sense that streets and rooftops would be Chinatown. Yeah. Yeah. Chinatown on the board. The rooftops and streets are the two areas that make up Chinatown. What's the city? Because they've said this. San Francisco. No, they uh, say it's this, the bank they say this and city. whatever this first one is. Is it the yeah. bank yeah. and the sewers? Which, which also makes this make more sense because these are the city. 
bank and sewers. That does make more sense. All right. Yeah, there all was right. a card earlier that the says if they're in the city, and I'm like, sense. are the sewers city? Uh, I don't know. So I have a question. If yes. I beat this nerd, does that rescue the bystanders? Yes, or it will. Just, oh, all right. I mean, yeah, I'll just take him on. Because I have five. I wish I had one more point. I'd take out two of these nerds, but I can't. So I will take out this guy, and they are rescued. Where do I put them? In, uh, in your victory pile. Yep. Look at that. Sweet. Yay. All right, so that won't advance for a little while. That's nice. Hurrah. Uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, cool. Uh, all right, so I once again have, uh, well, no, this is actually a helpful amount. I have three attack and a, an attack that is contingent on some other stuff, but I only need three anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. If you can avoid taking out the villain in the streets. Yes, I, I, would, I think I'm going to go after the, the guys in the bridge. Cool. Um, oh, have we pulled your villain yet? No, we have not. No, no, yeah, no, no. It's a bystander. Uh -oh. So that. Wait. Ooh. Rough. Man, is that how that works? If somebody's there to grab them, they grab them. Ugh. Well, conveniently, I have a Gracie Law, uh, so I can draw a card. Hell yeah. And rescue a bystander. I think you draw a card no matter what, but you also get the ability to rescue a bystander. So if somebody else has Great. a Gracie Law, just remember that you get that draw. Uh, all right, so draw a card, rescue a bystander. So I just it just happens, I just take them. Mm -hmm. That's convenient. All right, so that's going to go over there. And... Each villain in Chinatown gets negative one fighty fight. Ooh, do you have enough fighty fight to I hit two? I can't take out the, no. And I can't fight two of them anyway, because this guy you have to take on by himself. Mm. Um, but you can take out one of them. I can, yep, yeah, easily. So I'm going to take this guy. Reveal boom. the top card of your deck. Yep, and if it is zero cost, KO it. It is zero cost, so I'm going to KO it. Ugh. There we go, womp womp. Uh, so these go away. Oh, thank you very much, Carmen. Uh, and I will buy another Uncle Chew. Super. That's it for me. Okay. Uh, ambush. Reveal the top card of each player's deck. KO the lowest hero or heroes. Okay. I have an Uncle Chew, so he is cost three. Everybody uh, reveal the top card of your deck. No uh, we both have zeros. So both have zeros. I think your zero is worse than her zero. Uh, um, so like, we probably have a choice. You can, so. This one doesn't do anything for me anymore because I have a victory pile now. Oh, yeah. So K so KO him. Yeah. There you go. He is a mediocre hero, after all. Mm-hmm. Garbage. OK. Um, and then the if we let him escape, it's the same thing, but we KO the highest cost. Ugh. Okay. So let's murder None him. that business. Okay, but I might be able to kill him right now. Um, the if stack can of bad guys is looking downright doable. Yeah. Uh, now we just need to start focusing on David Lopan because oh boy, are we not anywhere close to winning. <laughs> um, if you can help me out, I can fight that guy and make him go away. Okay, I do okay. have a one fight. Yes, okay. So we're gonna do that, and he is Gonzo's. Boom. This is supposed to be a face up. Um, and then I have three points, so I will get an Uncle Chew. All right, Can you help me? there's Uncle Chew. Thank you. I will now draw from the villain deck. It is Wing Kong Thugs. So they only matter if we fight them. Um, okay, so I have, there is a villain currently in the streets, so this has plus one attack power in addition to its hero power. If there is a Gracie Law card in the HQ, gain one hero power, and each other player with six or more cards must reveal a Gracie Law card or discard a card Come on! What? What's going on? Look in your hand if you see if you have a Gracie Law. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll be on the top. No. You gotta discard a card. Some hot Wait, isn't that a Gracie Law? 
Yeah, but you. Uh, so I get plus one for that, and each other player with six or more cards must reveal a Gracie Law card or discard a card. Dang. <gasps> Yeah, one or more non-gray heroes have been KO'd, so we d I definitely right. get a so plus one power from this one. This guy, because I only have one attack power right now. Um, That's two, pretty useless to me. Two, three, four, five. I can afford I a five. Okay. Not fighting anybody today. Yeah. I am going to grab uh, the colors that never run. Yeah. And as far as fight power, I have three fight power. I can only fight one person, so I'm going to take out uh, the Ceremonial Warrior. Um, and his thing limits me to just attacking him, so that works out. You just mixed Ooh. him in with your cards. Yes, I did. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Good. Great. All right. Hun, it is your draw. turn. One, two, I three. I am doing that. Diggity. Oh, All right. Uh, Five. And six. I feel like you, you don't draw enough cards in this game. Uh, Seems like a hand of six would be enough, but... No, nope. there, there aren't as many uh, draw extra cards into your hand cards. Yeah, I as would I would have, have anticipated. Yeah. I think we're supposed to be trying to KO all the low ones out of our hands so that our hands become powerful, and we're yes. decidedly not doing that. Well, yeah. I mean... We but also can't. don't have enough in we, our hands yeah, to we, afford that. Yeah, I mean, can't like we do can't, that. but I think that's like supposed to be the strategy, but I don't uh, think that's going to That would to kind work. of make sense. I've got six... Uh, six buy or six fight? Six buy. Did we review... Push the thing oh yeah. So uh, it is a Tonfagard. He's got an ambush. Tonfagard and any villain on the rooftops each capture a bystander. Nobody's on the rooftops, but there is a bystander that is now being threatened. I have nothing to help that bystander. Nothing of well, value. We've got plenty of time to point. rescue that bystander. What 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 are the odds that? They're gonna get away with another bystander. Couldn't happen. How could that happen that much to us in this game? <laughs> <laughs> so choose and reveal a random card from the hand of the player to your left. If you reveal a non-gray hero, you gain plus two attack and draw a card. That's pretty cool. Um, the only other one I can afford, draw three cards, add the weird, those cards. How many do you have? I have six. Oh, okay. So you can't so afford the pork chop. No, I want, I want him. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you think between these two? Um, draw three cards. And then I only keep the ones that have have the mind and the minds. Add the mind cards that have the. Have damage, damage to your hand and then discard the rest. That it seems like the jack is way more Probably useful. Probably more useful. Consistently right useful, now. yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we, we need to start hitting the low pans or we're never going to win. Ugh. Now, am I correct in recalling that we can do cumulative damage against low pans? So if I did like six damage, now she could finish him off. No. 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 Right. All in one um, go. Yeah, you got you got to hit nine all in one go. But like we can each chip off cards got from it. him. All right. Well, that was me. Um, so let's draw. open the road. Um, oh yeah, scheme twist. twist. What is this? So Sorceress Slowpan goes to the Mastermind. Yep. David goes over there. 
So, and this goes, no way to, yeah, that is, that is what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we draw another villain card. Oh, yep. Spirit Warrior. That seem... Has yeah, he got gosh. an ambush? Yeah, he does. Ugh. Ah. Drop the shit. All right. Ambush. The current player must reveal a... Whatever the heck that is here. Uh, did like a targeting... Or gain a... That's a magic class. Ooh. Magic. Do you have any cards that have a that on it? Oh, God. No, that, is that me? Right this yes. is me? This is drawn on your turn. Uh, nope, nope. That's a that's then a. You gain for a sure no. Wound. No. But Uncle Chu can get rid of it. That's true. Uncle Chu can. Luckily, I've got quite a few Uncle Chus. So does the, the wound goes into the discard pile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wound goes into his discard pile, to be drawn at a later date. So does the wound and Uncle Chu have to be in the same hand? Yes, for him to heal it. To get rid of it, yeah. No. Oh wait. Does you can KO a wound from your hand or discard pile. Oh, oh okay. Oh, cool. Hurrah! So, yes. A We've learned card. not to ask me, but read the cards. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, what? Mm. What? Uh, when we defeat this guy, you reveal a random mastermind tactic that's still under the mastermind and then trigger that tactic's fight effect. <sighs> uh, that's actually good. Okay. <laughs> That's actually not bad for us. That both of the sound right. both of the mastermind yeah. fight effects that I've seen so far have been super good. Oh, so. all right. Well, that's something. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, the, the current that I, I should read the the current happen. fight effect right now uh, on Sorceress Lopan is fight. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card for each color of hero you played this turn, then discard down to six cards. Okay. So. All right, so so they're rewards. They're rewards for being Got able it. to hit the villain. Cool. Which we will never do. <laughs> well, we're we're slowly getting there. I, for example, have six fight this turn, uh, which is a delightful turn from the usual. Oh yeah, evil wins if six villains escape. Oh, by the geez. way. Oh, where are we? Oh, where are we at? We're at like three or four. One, <laughs> two, three, four. So hey, we're two away from losing, guys. Hey. 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 How uh, close are you to winning? <laughs> Shut up, Pat. <laughs> uh, I think the only answer to that is yes. Um, all right. Uh, so, player to my say left. That was 20 minutes ago. Yeah, hey. Hey, player to my left, if you would like to discard a card and draw a fresh one, you can cycle a card out of your hand. Sure, I'll uh, do that. And I phrased that as though it were an option. It is not phrased that way on the card. Uh, Beneficial, thank you. Yeah. I am going to KO a card, oh, from my hand. Uh, well, I'm not going to do that then. Uh, do, do, do. I'm going to draw a card, and I may move a villain to any empty space in the city, uh, which I don't want to do. Uh, I'm going to draw a card and rescue a bystander. Yay! For my grace and law. Ooh. I needed that she bystander is dead to be in danger. Um, why is this in my hand? What did I just do? Did, did you defeat him? Oh, yes. He must have been on the wrong stack. That's the one I drew. Okay. So I have an Uncle Chu. That's going to get rid of my wound. Yeah. Yay. So I'm going to KO that. Guy's doing Patrick plugs in the yeah. chair. Yeah. I'm thanking. <laughs> I'm thanking him for it, too. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Uh, and there are compliments as well. Ooh. Each villain in chat is blushing. minus one, so that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Uh, I cannot recruit a Jack Burton, so that's not going to happen, but I am up to, I'm still at six fight, but this guy is down one. Ah, five fight right here. I could take out that guy. If they're, but they're all But I could take one? out these guys. Wait, wait, wait. Just the guy in Chinatown. Six. So he's a two, oh. and he's a four, so I could get both of oh, these guys. Oh, yeah. take out both of them, yeah. do that. All right. Uh, I have six fights, so I could take him. Cool. This guy, Victory I'm going to reveal the top the end end card. It, it is a zero right. cost. Oh, is that how we win over each uh, other? So yeah. I KO'd okay. that guy. I wanted and to use them. That's my turn. Hot damn. That, that went very well. Hey, what a what a big turn! Finally having some luck after 
<laughs> After just a huge amount of escapes Ooh. at the start of the game. Is it coincidental that uh, the chat started talking about Pat Trek at the same time? Uh, I think not. No, yes. If you have Pat Trek playing lightly in the background of all of your games, you'll be luckier. That's <laughs> true. That's just a true fact, scientifically proven. Um, let's flip over a new villain. Scheme Twist. Hey! Uh, so we have the Lopan Switch. And we draw another monster. Oh my god. Um, okay. Let's see. Each mastermind tactic in your victory pile gives you plus one attack to fight the guardian. Hey, guess what? We don't have any of those because nope. we're not doing well. Um, but yeah, he, he's, he's only bad if we let him escape. Um, so let's kill him. <laughs> not not, not going to happen. Nope. Nope. I only have... I only have money right now. <laughs> Ooh, how much money do you have? <laughs> only five money. Wow. Well, I have that is unfortunate that. in you so many ways. Got the, you can either get Uncle Chew. There's always an Uncle Chew. Or the Open Road Pork Shop Express. If there are no villains in Chinatown or the bridge at the end of your turn, you rescue two bystanders. Mm. That could be good. Yeah. I, I look forward to that eventuality. <laughs> Someday. Ooh, shirtless Jack again. Mm -hmm. Sleeveless Jack. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is shirtless Jack the only one with flavor text so far? Oh no. Okay. There, no, there, there's there's been there's some flavor text. Uh, what lurks in the lifeblood? Each player must shuffle a non-henchman villain from their victory pile back into the villain deck. That is an yeah. escape, though. Yes. That's an escape. Okay. So how does that... So if they, if if they, they get escapes. away. Yeah. If he oh, another track. Oh, so we just need to... So yeah. Just not... Just, you, like all of them, we need to yeah. not let them get away. <laughs> and we've... Yeah. <laughs> okay, draw a card and rescue a bystander. Have no bystanders to rescue, but I can draw a card and ooh, it puts me on the board as far as fighting goes. Yay! Um, player to my left chooses a zero cost hero from their hand and puts it in my hand. Um, so yeah, so have you have just to, yeah. Please give me the please give me the money. I would love the money. <laughs> okay. Money, money. I enjoy how quickly we've given up on calling them hero points. Each uh, villain in Chinatown gets minus one this turn. So he is now at four. I do have four attack power. I am going to murder the spirit warrior this turn. But first, I think I'm going to spend my money. <laughs> and that is six money. Uh, I'm going to look at this six cost card, right? Draw three cards. Oh, this is a crazy one. Hell yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll see how that stupid ability works out for me. Um, and I am going to murder the spirit warrior uh, fight. Reveal a random mastermind tactic that's still under the mastermind and trigger that tactic's effect. So I am revealing this fellow. Each other player must reveal their hand and discard a non-gray hero that has the same name as the hero that you played this turn. What? Uh, so, if you have a Wang Chi in your hand, mm, is this a non-gray? But you have multiple this is gray, right? heroes. That um, you this one's gray, though. Yeah, this one's gray, um, and it's the attack heroes that you play. So, if you've got a Wang Chi card, discard it. Uh, it? She was the only Chang one. Sing, yeah. John, so I'm okay. You're fine. That one like double sucks because then you were gonna help me and we were gonna do such great things together. Yeah. Ugh. Trash. Okay. <laughs> womp womp. The other ones have been good. Uh, that, that one's so, secretly bad. So great. <laughs> great. Surprise! Um, so what but did, but yeah, but the, the spirit warrior is dead. Does that? So, so that, you didn't. You. Nothing happens to you. I know. You. I'm asking what happens. It to just goes back. Ugh. That's dumb. Yeah. It's just a thing that happened. It's like when we have to flip the top cards, uh, and then they just go back. All right. There are special bystanders. Yeah, like the like the bus. Oh, okay. All right. So, my turn. Yep. Hot garbage. So we gotta slide these boys down. We've got a ceremonial warrior. Uh, he, yeah, he's the one, like, we can only fight, if he makes it to Chinatown, we're only allowed to fight him. I just couldn't remember if he had, like, a bystander right away. Yeah. Uh, alright, so... 
I can move a villain, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, brother. Uh, I'm going to draw a card because I can. And it's useless. But I do have six fighting power, so I'm going to take out this ew, weird hobby thing. That is clearly a beholder. Yeah, it's uh, the rip-off beholder that showed up in Big Trouble Little China. Really ugly. And then he licks his own eyeball, and that's about it. It's awesome. Yeah, he gets stabbed in the face. He does get stabbed in the face real hard. And he is, is the reason that Lopan knows the heroes Ooh. in Yeah, band, so. he's a great narrative element. But he doesn't attack anybody, no, that's for he doesn't, sure. Yeah. Dang! So, to hold on to that. I'm on the top of my victory pile to remember. Oh boy, alright. Neat, yeah, okay. So I did that, I can't buy anything. So that's me. Fabulous. Um, alright, I uh, also have only money this time. Let's see what. The spirit warrior ambush the oh, current good. play. Oh, it's the same thing. Yay. You don't have the, oh, you gain a wound. I don't have a magic, so I gain a wound. Yay. Trash, trash, trash. But luckily, I have an Uncle Chu in my hand. Whoop, whoop. Uh, so that's convenient. Boom. Uh, should these go in a separate pile? Because these are going to be a pain to sort later. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, these, these that's are not, the legendary promise. These are not visually distinctive in any regard. Different backs would have gone a long way. Um, so many things would have gone a long way, I'm learning, with the legendary set of deck builders. <laughs> they didn't uh, retweet us, so I do not care. <laughs> All right. Uh, incidentally, to your question earlier, I was reading a review uh, online beforehand, uh, and they were talking about how this game, in fact, very poorly integrates with the other legendary card deck builders. Uh, that person may have been a big liar, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, uh, that's sounding wonderful. Yeah, right? Uh, so I've got seven buying power. Uh, so it's between these two. I've got a Gracie Law recruit card that costs six or less for free. That's exciting. That's cool. Uh, so that's, that's fun. Or I can gain plus one... Fighty fight for every non henchman villain in my victory pile. Let's see, how many henchmen do I have? Uh, I have almost exclusively henchmen, so that's less exciting. All right, so I'm going to buy Gracie Law, um, which sounded better in my head. Guys, I could potentially hit. Lopan? 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 No way! If I can pick a non gray hero out of your hand on my turn. I wish you the best of luck with that. Uh, I, will, I will try real hard to like to draw a draw non a non-gray one. If we can, hard of the cards. If we can figure yeah. out how HQ to get the, should be refilled. Uh, plus one star. If we can figure out how to get me one more damage, I can hit him because I have eight right now. Oh, God. All right. Well, I that is my so turn. Badly want us to do that. That that does sound oh. real nice. Oh, I do have a draw a card card, so... Here's hoping. All right. Ooh. Fingers crossed, Building suspense. Yeah. Ooh, Wait a... Yeah. All right. But first we got Mika. We'll and call that foreshadowing. It starts yeah. with... Oh, my God. Another brutal warrior here. So, uh, it is Battle Armor Rain. Ooh. Ambush. If the current player has three or more cards in their victory pile, they must discard a card that is printed with an attack value. If he escapes, it's the same, but for everyone. Oh. Okay, so I have to get rid of an attack value. Yep. Well, this round has just been chipping away at my hand. I was like, I started with like seven, and now I'm down to four oh, attack power. Great. Yep. Well. Whatever, I'll get this guy probably. Okay, yeah. It's like, no, I'm That's a dog. A and this card's useless, and I'm done. I'm busy being All a right. right. Just efficiently killing bad guys and doing nothing else. A bystander gets put under the battle armor rain. And we go to the Petco Corgi Cam! Hey, we managed to pull it off no matter what. Ratings through the roof. Through the roof. <laughs> Channels blowing up right Sudden now. Sudden spike. They're freaking out. Tweet all your friends, there's a Corgi on the camera. Get them to start watching. Okay, so he's worth two, so that's four. I've got six money right now. 
I really want to cut to the board, but I, I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching the corgi on the camera on James's phone. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yep. All right. I am going to, with my turn, because I've only got four attack, uh, spend it battling the ceremonial warrior. Hi, corgi. That's okay that he was the only one that I was able to fight because I couldn't have fought anybody else. But because uh, there's nobody who's going to be in Chinatown at the end of my turn, I also get to rescue a bystander. Hurrah! So that's my attack for this turn. And I have six purchase power. Um, so let's see what we have here. Uh, man, I could choose to reveal a random card from the hand of the player to my left if I reveal a non gray hero, plus two attack. Hell yes. I am going to grab that. Um, Do you need to draw, pick a card from my hand? No, oh, I no, this that's, isn't that's immediate. the one you yeah. just bought. Okay. I'm keeping up. All right, sort of. so that was my turn. And hey, not a bad turn. Still not attacking Lopan. He's just got unlimited shots at getting people to escape, though. <laughs> All right, no ambush. Lopan is as frustrated with beating us as we are with beating him, because, like, we're not doing enough to, like, really defeat him, but, like, we've now gotten to this, like, sick man's thing where we're not quite dead, but we're getting there. <laughs> he can taste victory right now. Oh, boy. All right. So I've got one chance at putting a hit on this guy, and that's if I draw a card with damage. Oh, God. Oh. Well, you've got two chances, because you could reveal one from his hand or draw one for yourself. Remember? Oh, you yeah, You got yeah. this hand? So let's, um, what should I do first? Draw, draw first. Draw my card. I, I hey! Got we got yeah. it! Hey. And reveal to see if, like, you can maybe do some even more badass stuff. That would just be plus two, so I would have ten. So that wouldn't but be that enough. I would have, um, I have exactly, that would be 11. I wouldn't have enough to do anything else. So okay, so, the, so no point in revealing. Uh, so yeah, that's just, it's all my damage. So I'm going to hit the top low pen. Yes, uh, so you hit low pen. Uh, you get to this in your victory pile, what? five victory points. Um, and so now, so I, I don't get the, oh, but you also get this fight. Recruit a hero in one of the spaces beneath Chinatown for free. Oh, mm. this yeah, me. baby! You have an yes. eye on that card. Oh. oh, yeah. That's good as hell. That's perfect. All right. Sweet. So that, like, attacking him, there's nothing else that happens after you, when you attack him? So, I mean, that was, that was the fight. Oh, and then the card, so the top card just stays there. Yeah, the top card Until always stays there. Them. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Don't forget to keep that other good card that you need to remember on top so that you see it, because I don't remember what oh, it is already. Oh, yeah. your, your poor okay, man's so, beholder. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put these guys side by side. Each mastermind tactic in my victory pile gives me plus one attack when I fight the guardian. So you've got this. Which one's, so, 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 guardian? Is that so, yeah. a specific monster? Th that's him. He is the guardian. So oh, only only so when another one of those oh, pops so up. Oh, gotcha. So, all right, good turn. Yeah, good turn. Really we good. finally mm -hmm. chipped away at the boss, which we <laughs> desperately need to do. But of course, we'll switch back to Sorceress Low Plan any minute, because that's how this game goes Wait. for us. Yep. So, um... We have to defeat one of these piles? Yes, okay. we have to go through. And right now, this guy has three left. This guy has four left. Gotcha. And they switch back and forth randomly. Yep. So the way this is going, I predict we're going to be done with this about 2 a.m.? Yes, 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. Let's All right. keep these turns speedy. I have seven uh, attack at the moment, but I also have a Pork Chop Express card that will allow me to draw a card. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Uh, okay, just one. All right. Well, that's almost helpful, but not quite there. Um, so that happened. Great. Uh, player to my left. You can discard a card and draw a card. Yay. Great. Um, I can recruit a card that costs six or less for free. 
And if it's a jack, I get, oh, there it is. All right, I recruit jack for free because it is a jack card. That too adds to my, I, you, you, it gets to go in he, my hand. Oh, wow, cool. That is fighting bride's uh, power, which takes me up to nine, so I can now fight low pan. Yeah. Uh, so that's exciting. So this, the fight on this one, I think this is the sucky fight that we encountered earlier. Each other player must reveal their hand and discard a non-gray hero uh, that has the same name as the hero played this turn. So you played Jack Burton. I have a Jack, I have a Gracie. I have two Gracies, so Jack arguably. Jack and Gracie. So if you've got a non-gray Jack or Gracie, um, which I do, Why did I do that? KO'd. All of us do that? Uh, every other player. So Everyone not you, but me, okay. But these, these Sorry, two. everybody Wait, else. What do I have to? Yeah. So get you have no non-gray heroes, Gracie. so don't you don't have to do anything. Super, cool. super, super. Cool. Um, all right, so that happens. So I'm going to fight Lopan and take that out. His fight power is, is each other player must reveal their hand. We, we just oh, did that's that. the yeah. thing we just did. Right, cool. Even better. Uh, there's a Gracie in the HQ, so I get a plus one buying power. Jeez Louise. Uh, so I've got... Just yeah, there's just two left. One. We could do this. Ah. Super. Okay, cool. So I have four buying power. Uh, I will buy this guy. And that's my turn. Cool. Let's refresh that. First things first, we go... Oh, did we reveal a bad guy for my turn? Uh, nope, I guess not. All right, that might have affected your turn. Ambush, Whoops. reveal the top card of each hero's deck. KO the lowest cost hero or heroes. Well, I don't have so to that's probably going to be right me. Now. Oh no! Hang on, I got to shuffle mine because I didn't have. It does specify one. hero. Yep. So the wound will not count for me. I have a zero. Oh. All right. We are all zeros. So one of you, I, I think. One of you discards. I will take that hit zero. because mine is a, a buying power cool. and not a fighter. Okay. Yeah, I think they are for real remaking Big Trouble in Little China. That's going to be weird. How? how? I don't know. It would be so racially uncomfortable if it came out these days. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm real interested to see where they go with that. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I need a villain to you. Mm hmm? Oh, right, so we gotta see. get rid of the spirit warrior, right? Yeah, we gotta get rid of anything in here. Yeah. Well, they don't Ooh. move up the track unless something, so any of these would be good. So, so yeah, good just... thing that I can do this, and uh, I guess you, you gotta help. Okay, I have no fights. Okay. So, so if you'd like to give me money then I'm fine with that <laughs> I'll take money no big deal um okay so I have four, four so I can take this guy out cool. the rock you know I will say uh, I love the rock in so many different uh, movies but I, I don't know that he has the same kind of charisma that uh that is needed for big trouble in little china I, I feel like I take him too seriously to play Jack Burton uh, you know yeah. what movie is highly underrated? Well, two minutes of what movie is highly underrated <laughs> with The Rock in it? What's that? Doom! Oh, no, I love Doom. There's I love like Doom. It's a terrible movie. That love it. Two minutes of first-person shooting? Off the hook. Oh, I hated that. What? That was my least favorite scene. My, my most favorite. It went, like I got that it was like a cool filmmaking thing for them to do, but it looked terrible. <laughs> It looked wow. very cheap and terrible. Yeah, but compare it to the whole movie. <laughs> you know, we, we'll have to talk about this on the podcast where we talk about terrible movies. Oh, yeah, where I love all of them. <laughs> X-Men 3 for life. Oh, my God. Where, where, oh. Where, where are we at? If my wife is um, watching, I'm to buy pretend that didn't happen. Yeah. Um, I can't really read any of the cards. Um, how much do you have? I have six. Oh, oh nice. Uh, if you it is a reasonable amount. Which of one money. do you want to read? All of them. <laughs> I'm the worst. Yeah, here, just, just take it all. There you go. Yeah. You can afford any of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Woof. Oh, Monty Cook tweeted about Invisible Sun. Topical. 
My course he does did. not stop tweeting about Invisible Sun. I'm going to go back to my true. phone, which is in the other room, and driving me insane. Yeah, Shannon and Jermaine's Facebook is like the same. There's a lot of promo going on right now. For yeah. I have them like. But like, as somebody who's done a Kickstarter, I empathize. It's what you got to do, yeah. <laughs> I have uh, notifications on my phone, and if I, for Money Cook and Path of the Suns and uh, Shana, and I'm going to have like 100 notifications when I get back to my phone. Now. Of course. Everything Monty Cook has done. Okay. Okay, sure. Let's do this. All right, cool. So you Thank bought you. the four. The rest goes back where it was. Okay. We get to my terrible turn. I've had a hand that has just been whittled down to nothing. So I've got four buying power, nothing else. Scheme twist. Uh -huh. uh, so we switch from the low pan that we were doing very well against, and now we're facing the low pan that we're not doing so well against, and draw another monster card. Oh, it's a ceremonial warrior. If only, if only we were in a position to defeat it at all, but I have no attack power. Hey, guess what? Neither do I. Oh, no. No, actually, I have one attack oh, power neither because do I. there's a villain in the streets. So that would be two more escaped if none of us can pull it out. Oh, so we we're going to lose. lose. Yeah. We, are, we, are, we are looking down the barrel right right now. Uh, well, there could be bystanders up until your turn. It's, there is a possibility. Yeah, there could also be a master strike. There could be things that could save us, but unlikely that that will happen. Yeah. Um, How does your hand look? Uh, dismal. <laughs> I could take out that uh, that warrior. Oh, okay, all right. You know, so there's that. That's and something. just that warrior. Okay. Oh, actually, I think I could take out um, one of the fives. All right. Great. Uh, well, that was my turn. Shit. Oh, <laughs> this is the hand that I needed. That moment so we just when you gotta hold out for lose. his next turn. We're gonna lose. It's gonna be okay. You gotta scoot it down for me. Well, we'll see. Master Strike. Hey! Yeah. So, um, let's see what Lopan's... Nope, no, no, no. That's, nope. that's Scheme. Oh, dang. Uh, right, Master right, Strike. Right, right. Put the Warriors of Lopan... Put the Warriors of Lopan villain who is closest to Sorceress Lopan in the city on top of the villain deck. Uh, and then draw the top card of the villain deck. What? Whoa, whoa. So, okay. In the city, if there is a Warrior of Lopan villain... Um, City is the Warrior bank and the Lopan. sewer. Yeah, so here. So this we guy. put him on top no, of... No, 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 no. He's in Chinatown. Yeah, the city is. is the bank and the sewer. Oh, yeah. This is Chinatown's city. not also in the city? Uh, apparently. So, and Chinatown's then draw... Chinatown's different. Draw the so, top card of the villain deck. So, it's I a guess... Venn diagram that doesn't cross. Mm, so yeah, I feel like this might be like a... None, of them, are, none of them are some warriors. Some squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles mm. are squares things. None of them are uh, warriors of Lopan, uh, so this does not happen. We are very lucky. So it does not move for another round. Um, um, man. Big I, purchasing turn for you, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Going out with a lot of stuff. I don't have KO, and I don't have anything with a six or more value. So all I have is six buying power. Um, I don't think... I think they're all the city because one of my cards says if there are four or more villains in the city and they can't be in the city, there can't be four of them if there's not if Chinatown doesn't count. Okay, oh. so Chinatown is part of the city. Sorry guys. Hate okay, to be, so hate to be that guy. So I'm, I'm guy. glad put, put that the we villain who is closest to Lopan on top of the yeah. villain deck and then draw the top card of the villain deck. So I feel like that's how we figured closest, everything. Oh out. right, just do yeah. Yeah. So then we just do this. Oh. That's and then no. draw him again? Yeah, I, I think that's what it is. That, I, is. that is how it reads. That's how it reads. Uh, if we're wrong, fuck you, Legendary, for not writing a clearer game. <laughs> All right. Um, we still haven't run into that bribe uh, mechanic, mechanic that is undefined. I think that might be part of somebody else's thing. It, it very well maybe. Okay. So. Thankfully. So, uh, uh, buy your stuff. Oh, 
man, I wish I had one more money. And get the, get this. James. Yes. Spider-Man 3, thoughts? This is a very bad movie. <laughs> Better or worse than X-Men 3? Huh. Oh. I am going to say that Spider-Man 3 single-handedly sunk that yes. franchise. Yeah. Um, and X-Men 3 clearly didn't uh, mm -hmm. because, like, that X-Men universe it. is still still yeah. doing it. So I will say Spider-Man 3 just it, purely in terms of uh, effect is good, but, like, they both wasted great uh, story arcs and villains. Yeah. Like, Venom completely wasted and Phoenix completely squandered, so... Uh, yeah. I would argue that uh, Spider-Man 3 wasted more good villains That's than true. X-Men 3. I'm not a wild fan of Sandman. Like, I know Sam Raimi is, mm -hmm. but it, it, Sandman's just not my That's favorite fair. of, like, the villains. And it, it was worse for me to see Venom done poorly. Oh, for sure. Than... Venom should have been his own, his own oh, movie. I think. What? I don't oh, think yeah. there's any question He should have been the main oh, villain. My God. Oh Dang. wow! Oh my goodness! All right, so we just need to survive need until you two can kill everybody. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, How many right. villains do we have right now? Still four. Mm -hmm. Have gotten away. Let's see. No, well, you're not. We're drawn for him. Drawn for me. Yep. Thank you. Dang. Okay. Got a gay. Got another one. Got away. Oh, and when that guy gets away, doesn't something happen? No. Oh, only no. fights. Okay. Um, we lose one of these cards. Yeah. Yep. Gets we. Killed. Do one of them under no six. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Tell me you can kill stuff. None of them are twos, so I'm not killing anything this turn. Um, but I have six buying power, so. What card was making things in Chinatown less strong? Do you have that? Because that would make I the... do, uh, or sorry, uh, it would only help if. Well, there you can was draw a card. A... So draw a card. Draw a card. Okay, that's right. I'll do that. Yep. All right. So that ups my buying power to seven. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would. Uh, yeah, that would have been great. Nope. So I mean, that's uh, a pretty cool card. Yeah, I guess I'll buy that. Cause what else am I doing? All right. Really hoping that this is a bystander? Bist Come on, bystander. Nope. We ah. lose. Well, guys, that was us slowly dying for an entire game. Uh, <laughs> thanks for hanging uh, out with us for that. Uh, slowly dying like the Spider-Man series. Hey, if we oh. <laughs> I had 12 attack power for my next yeah, turn. Yeah, on my next turn, I would have been able to defeat uh, at least one of those guys and buy and us some like, more time. the very yeah. end of it, um, yeah, what a, why don't we I had five. pretend, like, let's, we obviously lost, we'll admit that, but why don't we play through and see what happens when you actually win the game? I mean, we I'm curious. could do that, but we're not, I, I don't think we're going to, it's also All 10 right. o'clock. Uh, we, we did hit it on the nose, we lost exactly at 10, uh, or 9.59. Yeah, so, I, I you know, like, we lost, I will say, legendary deck builders. Uh, I am not the biggest fan. They are closer to the hardcore market uh, for deck building, and that's definitely not me. Uh, so I'm gonna say I probably would not be the market for this game, but I, I'm certain there are people out there. I really enjoyed the legendary alien deck builder. Um, as far as a big trouble in a little China game, I would probably have wanted it to go faster. I think. Um, more fast and more fun, I think, would have been. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's a really weird thing for a... This uh, is like, it's a really grindy game. Yeah, yeah. Which doesn't seem in yeah. keeping with the with the property. It was such a slow build at the beginning to like have yeah, anything. That and like, and it, uh, we, we were really unlucky. Because so <laughs> many of them escaped. Also, we were dealing with a much more costly lineup than normal, so... Yeah. A lot of our points got funneled into Uncle Chew's. Also, I, I just, I guess there's, I wish there were more ways to KO our weaker heroes because it did feel like we were starting to get better decks, but like our weaker heroes kept slowing us down. Um, well, and we also weren't accruing stronger heroes very quickly. Yeah. yeah. So, I yeah. mean, even if we had KO'd our weaker heroes, we'd have just been recycling the same three strong heroes. Which still wouldn't have been that bad. Which I guess, that, that yeah. That would have been good. I, I would have liked that very um, much. 
But I mean, just the initial draw of villains, they were all really high level and considering you couldn't have more than six strength and we picked, pulled a bunch of six monsters at the beginning, like, no. Yeah. <laughs> and they all had bystanders, it was just like sad. Yep. We did let a lot of people die today. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We we lost quite a few bystanders. Um, we saved that like bus full of. The one time. thing that we can see, we can count our victory points and see oh, yeah. who lost the best. So we count the little red. Yeah. That's what I think about that scene in Doom, James. So it lost the best. Yet. I don't think so. I feel like The Rock in that movie had a lot of on-screen charisma, and totally. you could tell that he was, like, trying, whereas the rest <laughs> of the cast was phoning it in. So I think he was a pleasure to watch. Also, I might be alone in this. I'm the only guy who likes those monsters. They had people in rubber suits. I'm a big fan of people in rubber suits in movies. Always good. They didn't do terrible CG. They chose good rubber suits. So... You know, I'm okay with that. The monster design was kind of boring, but hey, you know, they were in suits, so yeah. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, I have 13. 13. I also have 13. Mm. Ooh. 14. Oh! oh. oh. Okay. So you are crowned the winner. The winner of the losers. Top yes. of the heap. Yeah, so uh, that's it. I guess everybody search your deck for, for like wounds oh, and geez. start separating out the different cards. We're not doing that on the stream. No, we, we don't have to do that on the stream. Uh, guys, <laughs> stream the boring part. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you Let's for... Sort unmarked cards. Thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, I'm sorry about this game. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was, it was kind of a it's letdown a huge for endorsement. me. I was really, I was, I was hoping for this to be a lot of fun because I'm a huge fan of Big Trouble in Little China, and it wasn't suited to my tastes. And I don't know that it was fun to watch, but I can, I, I know that there is definitely a market for this sort of game. But I'm just not a legendary deck builder gamer. I only bought six cards of the whole game. Wow. Oh man. All right. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Yay. See you next time, heroes.